business editor Richard Southern is with us now. We've seen prices jump at fast food restaurants in recent years, but apparently that's not keeping customers away, Richard. Hey, Erica, no, it's not. Certainly not at the Golden Arches, that's for sure. McDonald's reported earnings today, and it's a company that has hiked prices in recent months, but it didn't stop customers from flocking in to Mickey D's in big numbers during the first quarter. The company said same-store sales grew 12.6% year-on-year in Q1, much more than expected. However, McDonald's CEO said he is starting to see some customer resistance to price increases. He noted that some customers are now opting not to add fries to an order, and delivery orders have slowed as customers rethink the added cost. Despite the supersized results, McDonald's laid off several hundred corporate workers earlier this month. I'm worried about cost, Erica, but I'm definitely still adding the fries. I'm not made of stone, as you know. <laughs> All right. Well, McDonald's is reporting big profits. Another fast food chain continues to tinker with its menu. Subway, uh, Erica, a behemoth in the world of fast food. I mean, they have, I believe, more locations than McDonald's, but it's a company that has struggled in recent years in terms of sales with consumers uh, on a whole, sometimes looking elsewhere from, from Subway. What the company is doing now here in Canada is initiating its biggest menu revamp ever, introducing new ingredients like smoky beef brisket, fresh mozzarella, and fresh pesto. There's also a new line of what the company calls chef-inspired sandwiches with names like Little Italy, Kickin' Chicken, and Canuck Classic. The sandwiches can now be ordered by number for the first time. The privately held company looking to boost same-store sales and profits as it explores a possible sale. Should also note they still have all the classic ingredients, so you can still get your favorite Subway sub, Erica. All right, and finally, many Canadians are gearing up to travel this summer, but there are questions about whether our airports will be able to handle the surge. Yeah, that's a big question. We got some numbers in on on-time performance for airports and airplanes in the month of March in Canada. The numbers aren't good at all. Uh, Toronto Pearson Airport saw a 61% uh, saw 61% of flights leave on time. Uh, on time being within 15 minutes of their scheduled departure. By comparison, New York's JFK had uh, an on-time performance of 73% in Chicago at 79%. On the airline front, Air Canada's on-time arrival rate was 57.3% in March, much worse than the 77 to 79% range for the big U.S. carriers. Air Canada says uh, it is making a, quote, concerted effort to reduce delays. It's not as bad as the budget airlines. Sunwing and WestJet uh, Sunwing and uh, uh, WestJet subsidiary Swoop, I should say, flew less than half their planes on time, just 44% on time in the month of March. Eric, if you're traveling this summer, you're going to need to pack your patience.